What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute full body deep stretch. So grab your mat and let's get to work. Alright guys, welcome to your 20 minute deep stretch today. We're going to be doing full body stretching and you won't need any equipment today. No bands, no foam rollers, nothing like that. Just going to move the body, stretching it and moving through mobility motions at the same time. Okay? So, if you want to start with me, we're going to go ahead and raise our hands up over top of your head. You're going to link your fingers and lean over to the left. Okay, I want you to make a nice tall arch over to one side and we're starting with the top of the body. So right now I want you to feel this all down the side of your body, your lats, your shoulder, your triceps. And let's switch sides. Same thing on the other side. We're going to be moving through these two positions for a minute here. Remember, nice and tall first and then arch over. You'll feel a huge difference. Make sure your shoulders stay straight. And let's switch back over. Chest stays open, shoulders are pointing straight ahead, they're not folded over. There you go. And one more switch back up over top. Great job, three, two, one. All right, I want you to take your hands, bring them right down to chest level and we're gonna pull diagonally forward. Okay, so you're reaching over from the opposite shoulder or from your shoulder straight out. Pulling that hand here on the long side of the body so you get kind of your lower back, lat, oblique area. Back to the center and let's switch straight across here, a diagonal pull, long pull with this arm. And good, one more time each side. Reach diagonally, pull, pull, pull. There you go, back up top and one more time through. Big deep breath out, three, two, one. All right, let's rest. All right, take that right arm, pull it right up over across your chest. Come on, make sure everything is facing forward, hips are forward, shoulders are forward. Good, let's switch arms. Just working on the shoulders here a little bit. We're gonna start from the top, like I said, work our way down. And with the motions that you can kind of work through mobility, like those overhead pulls, I'll move you from side to side so you can kind of feel that muscle lengthening and relaxing. Okay, for this one, we're just gonna relax it. Can't really move too much through the mobility on this one, it's kind of a static hold only. Go ahead and switch arms. Where I want you to feel this one, right across the back of your shoulder. Okay, make sure your chest is pointed forward so you're not pulling here, crisscrossing your body. Everything is straight. Your arm is perpendicular to your spine. Last one, bring it on over. Good, arm should be under your chin as well. Everything is straight forward. Three, two, one, all right, good. Let's go ahead and step on back to the back of your mat. I'm gonna have you slowly bend down. Okay, one vertebrae at a time, bend down to the floor or as low as you can get. And I just want you to stay here for a second. Drop your head, relax your neck. And just exhale. Good, place your hands on your legs. I want you to come halfway up and lengthen your spine straight out. Reach, 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 and fold forward again. Same thing, big deep inhale, and exhale. All right, take your fingertips. You're gonna walk them out and over to the left, over to the right. Okay, so you're gonna hold here and walk it over, over, over. Feel the back stretching. 
Feel your intercostals stretching, those muscles in right along your ribs. And then let's go one more time, arching it over as you walk your fingertips. And when you get your hands here, I want you to kind of pull your body towards the back part of your body, if that makes sense. Pull your head to the rear facing position and walk it back over one more time. Good, try to get your head pointed back. And walk it back to the middle and forward now. So you're going up to downward dog. Same thing here, I want you to drop your head in between your arms. And I want you to take your head, place it over and under so we can work on the shoulder mobility here a little bit. So drop your head, raise your head. I don't want you to come all the way up into plank. I just want you to move over your arms and under your arms with your head. Good, and as you start to loosen up, you can start to push your head back more and more. Next exhale, stay back here with your head behind your arms. And I want you to pedal one heel down to the ground at a time. Okay, push the heel down, bring the other foot down, and keep switching here. I want you to really feel your calves loosening up. Push that heel down, push. Great job. The tight calves can be the reason for a lot of pain up on the back side of your body. So hamstrings, glutes, lower back, it's all the posterior chain. So it all kind of starts back here. We're gonna work our way up, of course. All right, go ahead and come on out to a high plank. And I want you to drop down, lay your toes down flat, and push your chest away from the ground. Okay, so now you're working on your hip flexors. Big exhale, pull your shoulders back, big open chest, and just relax. Make sure you're still breathing. Okay, tuck your chin down, and I want you to roll your hips back into child's pose or sitting back near your calves. And we're gonna do the same thing here that we did when you were standing doing your hamstring stretch. Then walk your hands over, over, over. I want you to hold there, diagonal hold. And good, let's come back to the other side. Walk, walk, walk. Till you're diagonal. You feel that stretch all up the side of your body. Breathe, just relax. Try not to think about anything else right now. Walk your hands over again to the opposite side. Just you and your body and your muscles calming down from this crazy week. And walk it over one more time. Big exhale and relax. And just sink down into that stretch. and walk your hands back to the middle. We're gonna drop it back forward again. Okay, so hip flexors again. Look up if you can. Great job. Just breathe. If you can't look up, that's okay. If you're still kinda right down here, it's a little too tight, that's okay. It will get better. The more you do this, the better it gets. Okay, I want you to keep your hands here and I want you to take your shoulder and face it back towards your tailbone. Alternating left, right, left, and right, slowly. Okay, no rush on this one. I want you to tuck your tailbone back, sit back one more time. You're gonna stay in the middle here and walk your fingers out as far 
as far away from your shoulders as you can. Really open up the shoulders and the lats. And on your next exhale, come back up. Tabletop position. And I want you to clamp your knees together. Okay, so knees are together, hands are together, and I just want you to rock side to side, really stretching those hip uh, muscles out, the side glute. Get as far over as you can sit. Your arms are gonna be kind of wide based here so you can keep your balance. As you really drop those hips down, keep your knees together, so keep them stacked up. Sometimes tight hips can cause lower back pain. Okay, so from the side, you're here and here. Great job, last one. And you're gonna come back up to the middle and we're gonna do the exact opposite with our knees, okay? Hands are down. You're gonna walk your knees out, out, out. Okay, as far as you can. <laughs> Everyone's flexibility level is different. I want you to stay right here, working on opening up the adductors here. Good, if you can, drop it down to your elbows. If not, just stay right up there. Great job, really working on the hips here. I know this takes patience. Just think about breathing for a second. If you're not feeling it still, you can always drop your chest down lower, okay? Adjust to your fitness level, or your flexibility level, I should say. Okay, the lower you go, the tougher it can be. Or you can walk it up, stay right here. That's fine. Give me another three seconds. Two, one. Come on back up, walk your knees in one at a time. And I want you to come on over and have a seat. We're gonna flip it over, taking one knee, gonna bend that one knee and cross it over your body. Okay, so cross it over the other leg, I should say. Hook your elbow, opposite elbow, and you're gonna open that chest up. Okay, so you can push here, twist around, stay nice and open. back to the middle and switch legs. So the other foot goes on the outside of your knee. Rotate around using your arm to push. Look back towards that other shoulder. Nice tall spine. There you go. Make sure you're not rounding your back out here. Keep it nice and tall and twist. And let's switch one more time. Up and over. You should feel this in your chest, right across the front here, right also in your abs and your lower back. And let's twist over one more time. Push away, look back. All right, great job. Leave this leg right here. And I want you to drop it down, drop the knee down. And you're actually gonna push that leg up towards your toe, or up towards your face, I guess. <laughs> push your toe towards your face, and walk your hands up forward so you feel the stretch in that bent leg, the leg on top, glute. Okay, drop that leg down, let's switch it over. The other one, ankle goes on the knee. Walk your hands up, nice tall chest. Push forward. You should feel it right here in your side glute, right? Nice and tall with the spine again. All right, great job. Let's bring both legs out front here. 
You're gonna grab one leg, bend the knee, and pull it back with you. Okay, driving your knee up to your chest. Work on keeping a nice flat back. And then I want you to cross your knee over top of your body. Okay, so it's going to the opposite shoulder. You'll feel this one kind of down in your low back as well. Maybe even in your glutes a little bit. And straighten it out. Let's bring the other knee straight up, right up to your chest. Grab onto it. When you get in position there, I want you to take it, roll it to that opposite shoulder. Great job, pull it nice and high. Good work, let's release that leg. Bring your other leg back up and you're actually gonna keep it straight this time. Hands behind your calves, you're gonna pull knee to chest. All right, try to keep a nice long straight leg. Okay, if your leg is bending, I want you to, to uh, drop your grip down a little farther to underneath your knee and straighten it back up, okay? Your knee needs to be straight on this one. So wherever you are on the back of your leg, pull it as close to your face as you can, keeping your leg straight. And relax, drop that leg down. Let's switch over to the other leg. Nice flat tailbone. The other leg on the floor, nice and straight. You loosen up these hamstrings. They are so versatile and they are also such a big part of the posterior chain of your body. Okay, so the whole back of your body kind of depends on this flexibility in the hamstring and the lower back, glutes, calves. They all tie in together directly, so to work on each part of them is to help the whole chain. All right, I want you to drop that leg down and stay back here. You're gonna bring both knees up, and I want you to open them up to the side. Okay, so again, working on the hips here. Bring them both up, grab one hand on each knee, and try to open them up. And just breathe. If that feels okay, you can reach in on the inside of your leg and open up even more. Kind of push your knees away with your elbows. And straighten your legs out for just a second. Rest your hips. We'll go back down into that stretch one more time. All right, bend your knees. Reach inside your legs and open back up. Good, keep pushing away. Great job, guys. And relax. Okay, one more position for each side of your body. I'm gonna come up into that tabletop position. I know I do this one often, but we're gonna add a little twist to it here. Okay, bring your knee up or your foot up outside your hand. You're gonna open this arm up to the, side, to the sky. Drop down so that front leg is straight. Open back up. And this is gonna be the more uh, mobility focused move for your hamstrings and your hip flexors here. Drop back out front, open. Straighten that leg out. Great job, great job. Let's do just a couple more on this side and then we'll switch over. Nice, almost done. Drop it down. Open, 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 push that hip flexor even farther towards the ground. And shove your hips back, hamstring stretch. All right, good, let's bring that leg back and switch it over. Okay, here we go. Drop the hip down, open same side arm as your front leg, reach, and sit. As you sit back, both fingers or both hands are out front to keep your balance. 
Come back up to the top, open. Drop this hip down. And sit back and reach. Great job. Come back forward. Open, open, open. Keep pushing that hip down towards the floor. And come back. Hamstring stretch. We're gonna roll through this one one more time. As you exhale, come back forward. Push the hip down even farther. Open, open, open. And sit back. You've got four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, bring that leg back right up under you. All right, push your hips up to the sky. Slowly come on up and roll back to your feet. One vertebrae at a time. You're gonna roll it up to standing. And you have made it through your 20 minute total body deep stretch. Hope this one really felt good for the posterior chain in your body. I know we started up top, working on the shoulders, the triceps, the lats, the obliques, and then we kind of ended down at the bottom with the hamstrings, the calves, the glutes. Definitely worked on the posterior chain really good today. So let me know what you guys thought. I hope you're feeling amazing now. I know I am. I think after this week, we all needed this deep stretch. Okay, so make sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up before you head out. Don't forget before you leave to click subscribe. I appreciate it so much, guys. All right, have a great day.